Here is a clip. Trump Friday at the CDC. He is on one side of him is um, uh, Adam Azar, is it? Uh, he is the Health and Human Services um, uh, head. He is an incredible lackey uh, for Donald Trump. The other guy next to him is this guy, Redfield. And he was part of, in addition to like him like wanting like an enormous salary uh, when he came in, it was Alex Azar, sorry. Uh, when he wanted to come in, um, this guy's history of working in health, he, um, he worked at the Institute of Human Virology, uh, which was an HIV AIDS program led by Robert Gallo, a former NHS researcher. Redfield managed the Institute's clinical care program with HIV. His early engagement with the AIDS epidemic in the U.S. in the 80s and 90s was controversial to say the least. This is from a um, CNN piece. Uh, as an Army major at Walter Reed Medical Institute, he designed policies for controlling the disease within the U.S. military that involved placing infected personnel in quarantine and investigating their past to identify and track possible sexual partners. Uh, soldiers were routinely discharged and left to die of AIDS, humiliated and jobless, often abandoned by their families. In the 80s, Redfield worked closely with Shepard Smith Jr. and his Christian organization, Americans for a Sound AIDS HIV Policy, or ASAP. The group maintained that AIDS was God's judgment against homosexuals spread in America, weakened by single parent households and a loss of family values. He wrote the introduction to a 1990 book, Christians in the Age of AIDS, co-written by Smith, in which he denounced distribution of sterile needles to drug users and condoms to sexually active adults and described anti-discrimination programs as the efforts of false prophets. In the 2000s, Redfield was a top advocate for the so-called ABCs of AIDS in Africa, pressing to prevent HIV infection through sexual abstinence, monogamy, and the use of condoms only as a last resort. He's perfect. Perfect. Um, this is a Pence hire. I mean, you can pick them out, right? Like, the vast majority of them are. And um, listen to this guy. Talk about yes men. Chuck, do you want to make a little statement? Uh, Dr. Steve Monroe. Well, I think I, first I want to thank you for your decisive leadership. Pause it. This is, this is Redfield's, um, you know, Trump cues him. Doctor, I think you have an announcement to make. Go. And here it is. Well, I think I, first I want to thank you for your decisive leadership in helping us you know, put public health first. I also want to thank you for coming here today and, and sort of encouraging and bringing energy to the men and women that you see that work every day to try to keep America safe. So I think that's the most important thing I want to say. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, the whole situation is, uh, the testing has been amazing, actually, what they've been able to produce in such a short period of time. You had mentioned 4 million tests. Yeah. You'd mentioned 4 million tests as just a number that you threw out there that has no bearing to what, how many tests we produced or we're going to be able to produce. Can you imagine this? Head of the CDC, do you want, you have something to say uh, to, the fo to the press here? You're head of the CDC. Yes, I do have something to say in this time of potential national crisis and uh, on, uh, oncoming pandemic. I just want to say, Mr. President, you have done an amazing job. That's it. That's all I have to say. Mr. President, you're amazing. Really. And the idea that you're here, you're raising everybody's spirits. Because now they know that you're here. Nailed it. Good job. Good job, Red Brownie. Robert Redford, I love that guy. Yeah, he's really good. It doesn't look... Uh, no, but you look like a doctor. And that works for me. So, um, that's all good. This is clip uh, number what?